Hey guys, Sam here. This time going over the preliminary patch notes as well as QA thread Blackbird posted on the forums. This is to inform everyone of what the next patch includes as well as clarification in case some people out there don't read the forums. So, first off, we'll go over the patch notes. The following has been added to the game. Added a tremor effect, which at the moment only occurs as a consequence of lasting pain and begins to subside only after the pain is relieved. Added new visual effect of bleeding. Added new visual effect of pain. Uh, even after stopping the bleeding on a limb, it stays with a wound effect, which may cause bleeding again on repeated hits to this part of the body or when jumping or sprinting. Added fatigue from aiming down sights, depending on the weight of the weapon. Added hands trembling from exhaustion. Added weapons include the SKS, MPX, and DVL-10. Of course, scav mode was added. A quick few bullet points about that. The ability to choose playing as a scav can be selected once per hour, and this may be bypassed by using in-game currency. When you spawn as a scav, you appear in the current wave of scavs together with AI. Bots are neutral to the player scav before the player attacks a bot. So, if you're going to shoot an AI scav, expect them to fight back. The player scav equipment is randomly generated before spawning on location, and on successful exit from the location, it is possible to hand over everything looted as a scav to your main character's stash. Next, we'll go over the skills added to the game. We'll start with Endurance, which grants an increase in stamina, reduced power expense of jumping, longer breath hold time, and reduced breath recovery time. Next is strength, increase of carrying weight capacity, increase of sprint speed, increase of jump height, increased grenade throw strength, and increased impact force of melee weapons. Next is vitality, reduces the chance of bleeding, reduces the chance of death on zone destruction, which I think means, say, your arm gets completely destroyed to zero or your legs get completely destroyed to zero or something like that. Like that. Um, it'll reduce the chance of you dying when that happens. Next is health, reduces the chance of fractures, reduced base energy consumption, reduced base hydration consumption. And next is stress resistance, which grants decreased chance of getting a pain effect, reduced chance of algesic swinging or hand tremor in normal or aiming mode. And finally we have metabolism, which grants increased positive effects of eating and drinking, reduced rate of energy and hydration consumption, and reduced physical skills rollback rate. Now next we're moving on to AI improvements. I'll just go down the list. Silencers now affect bots' as hearing. Fixed bots not talking out of combat bug. Bots now pay attention not to the specific sound source point, but to the certain radius around it. So that's good, they won't know exactly where you are. Um, improved algorithm for preliminary search of cover points changed algorithm of player spotting. Now it depends on the angle from the bot to the player, range and player's position. Added visibility factor for different positions, standing, sitting, prone. Rewritten aiming algorithm, added ranging. An example, with each new shot, the bot becomes more accurate than the previous one. That's pretty neat, I like that. <clears throat> Bots now make extended use of covers when appearing out for shooting. They'll move laterally, squat, depending on cover. Improved cover selection mechanism. For example, the bot keeps a distance suitable for their weapons and selects the appropriate <coughs> and selects the appropriate covers. Excuse me. The bot moves from cover to cover. Improved detection that the current hideout is discovered. That one, I honestly don't understand it. The AI skills now vary depending on location and difficulty settings. Using aiming mode when shooting from behind cover and in some cases outside the cover. Bots now use sprint rationally. That'll be neat seeing AI fucking dash around. Bots can now recharge magazines with packs of cartridges. I also like this one because as far as I know currently once they run out of ammo they're out of ammo. So now they can reload their magazines that's great all right next we are going over the fixes fix the bug that prevented from unpacking ammo from ammo packages revised and corrected the pain effect for the character 
added probable causes of pain. Hits to character cause short-term effective pain that subsides over time. Destroyed limbs cause lasting effective pain that subsides over time. Dehydration and leg fracture cause permanent effective pain that disappears after removal of the cause. Redesigned effect of anesthesia on medicine use. The pain effect does not disappear, but for medication effect time, there are no fines and visuals of pain. Uh, the custom map now does not change its quality with the change in quali texture quality settings. Timer to location exit is now not reset when the player changes position. What this means, guys, is if you're in extraction trying to get the hell out, your timer's like at one and you duck because some dude's shooting at you, go prone or crouch, your timer won't reset now and you'll actually get out instead of resetting the timer and then the dude comes in and fucking murders you. So that's an awesome change or fix, rather. Um, fixed health amount display for cases when a limb is destroyed, but displays 39 out of 45 instead so now it'll proper, properly say zero. Um, control plus click on a container or backpack now does not pack into itself disappearing from inventory. Alright next we're gonna go over the changes. The effects of bleeding and fractures can now be removed on destroyed limbs. I like that. If that's how exactly how it sounds like that's gonna be great because right now you know once you break your legs and it's down to zero you can't fucking do a thing about it. So that'll be nice if that's exactly what that is. Next, uh, the bleeding rate changed. Now health is decreased once in six seconds instead of three. So it's doubled. The rate at which your health decreases when you're bleeding is now doubled, or the time. So that's nice. I'm sure that'll save some lives. I'm guessing it's still the same amount, amount of health, though. That'd be removed. I don't know. Um, chat menu block is now available on all menu screens. Weapons cannot be reloaded from an ident unidentified chest rig, so for all you guys, go and hatchet warrior, kill a scav, take the gun, and start killing people. Screw you, because now you gotta fucking search through that chest rig before you can reload that sweet shotgun. Alright, and that's what I'm gonna get you. Uh, next, added aiming fatigue, which uh, will use stamina. Character fatigue increase rate depends on the mass of the weapon you are using. Next, the chance of bleeding is redesigned. It is now higher with higher damage received on a limb, depending on the health of a limb. And finally, stamina consumption depends on energy. Okay, next we're gonna go over the Q&A that Blackbird posted in the forums. This is actually very, very useful for those of you who don't uh, read the forums often. And, you know, information about the patch and whatever. Um, question, what is the principle of a character skill upgrade mechanic? Answer, as we mentioned before, skills upgrade mechanic is based on repetitions of particular actions. Question, will there be an opportunity to up the skills in scav? I don't know whether that means up the skills of your scavenger in scav mode, or up, uh, keep leveling up your skills while in scav mode. Answer is not yet, but planned for the future. Question. Can I play as Sniper Scav? Answer, later on the system will be able to randomize your player with sniper rifles and on appropriate position, but this would happen rarely. Question, at what stage of the raid will the player Scav spawn? At the beginning or in one of the later waves? Answer, all over the raid duration, i.e. mostly in the following waves. Question, will Scav have a container, which I'm guessing secure container? Answer, no. Question, on survival, will you be able to stash only loot or the gear of the scav you initially received as well? Uh, the answer is actually kind of surprising to me. Answer, everything, at least for now. Question, what are the criteria for successful completion of the raid as a scav? All PMCs killed? Raid time ended? Scav reached the designated evacuation spot? Answer, scav reaching the designated evacuation spot. That's all you need to do, guys. Just get to the evac and extract. That's it. Question, will the player be punished in any way if in the previous raid as a scav, he killed the bots? If not, how can we hope to avoid situations of scav player killing and looting the bots and immediately going to extraction point or hiding on location? Answer, no artificial punishment, complete improvisation. However, it must be understood that the intelligence of bots will co be continuously improved and your hostility will not go unnoticed. The scavs are meant to be your friends. Let them work with you and kill those fucking PMCs geared with all that cool shit. Uh, next, anyway, um, next question. 
scav bots will attack scav player only if they see him attack another scav or would they know about it regardless of visual contact answer we'll make visual confirmation prior to the attack so that's pretty neat you find a scav all by himself fuck him up the others won't know all right um next question fatigue will it be influenced by food consumption answer do you mean overall fatigue or stamina the stamina recovery speed is not affected by anything. Question. Will the stamina be spent while aiming in the prone position? What are the principles of its expenditure? Answer. Too long to explain here. It will take a separate article. Question. Will the wipe be complete and how much money will we get now? Answer. Full wipe. There will be the same amount of cash on the start as it is now. 300k rubles. Question, will the bots have a loading animation that'll show that they are temporarily out of combat? Answer, there are such animations already. Question, will there be scav gang leaders in this update? And if so, will it be possible to play as one? This has already been answered in the freaking pre preliminary patch notes, or not the preliminary patch notes, the info about the upcoming patch. They said that they're working on this currently, not being included. Uh, answer, not in this update and they will not be playable. Question, will the weapon and weapon mods continue to appear in random places? Answer, didn't quite get the question. There is no such thing now. Whatever that means, I, I don't know. Um, question, will the item weight start to matter in the next update? Answer, already made steps in this direction in the upcoming update. Question, will it be possible to modify the SKS? Answer, so far it will only have a scope installation route. Question, would it be possible to increase the scav play frequency? Answer, yep, for in-game currency. Question, will there be a bug fix in this update? Answer, yes. Question, how can we get DVL-10 Saboteur, SKS, MPX, what will their ammo be and where can we get it? Answer, from a dealer. And just so you people know which, uh, you know, what uses what ammo, the DVL-10 uses 40 Lebeyev Whisper, SK or or 308 Winchester. Uh, SKS uses 762 by 39, and MPX is 9 millimeter. I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> and the answer is, of course, as I just said, you can get them from a dealer. Next question: Bots have great sight in the dark. Will the player scav have the same perfect vision? What a troll question that was. Answer: Bots have good eyesight in the darkness is rather a bug, so no. Question. Will the spawn points of the scav bots and players change? Answer, already changed, e.g. in customs. Question, will the bots remain as well equipped as they are now? Answer, not quite. The equipment may vary, especially depending on location. Question, when is the update? Soon. Soon, with a little uh, asterisk next to it. With a big old, not in March soon. Because March is over. Grr. Anyway, whatever. Um, ah, general questions. Question, will the bot's night vision ability be fixed? Answer, yes. We have now introduced the ability to customize the vision of bots in different lighting conditions. So the first iteration of all the different settings will be included in the upcoming update. Question, when will the transition to the new uni version of Unity happen? Answer, still in plans, many obstacles. Question, are there any works going on for anti-cheat improvement? Answer, yes. Question, will the ballistics be improved? It's impossible to hit at long distances now. Answer, ballistics is always under minor edits, but they are only concerned with details. Essentially, it will remain the same. Ballistics in the game is quite realistic as is. Learn to make game adjustments. All right, uh, question on medicine. Has the, ska, has the magical Salewa kit stayed magical? Reduces bleeding and all the negative, negative effects? Answer for now, yes. You hear that, guys? The Salewa, or whatever you guys call it, is still going to be awesome. Important stuff to know right there. All right, next question. When to expect the animations of healing, dressings, etc., or at least delay of treatment rather than instant healing? Good question. Answer is planned for closed beta. Follow-up question. When is closed beta? Answer. Planned for the uh, planned for the beginning of summer. 
Um, next question. When will it be possible to use condensed milk? We all want to use that damn condensed milk, right? <laughs> Answer is coming soon. Um, question. When will the arena location become accessible? Answer, in open beta. When is open beta, you may ask? Open beta is planned for the end of summer. Okay, um, next question. When will merchants start giving jobs? Answer, closed beta. Beginning of summer. Um, next question. Will the armor and grenade throws be redesigned? Answer, planned. Question. When are new locations coming? Answer, the priority the priority, excuse me, has shifted to them now, in closed and open beta. Question. Will the shotgun damage be improved? It's too weak now. Answer. Weak? Curiously, but the usual complaint is quite the opposite. Use the bullet shells for increased damage at medium distances. Buckshot is effective up to 20 to 25 meters. Question. Whether the range of hunting weapons in the game be expanded? Answer. Yes. Question. Will the offline farming return? Answer, big fat no. And last little section, bug fix questions. There's just two of them, so let's wrap this shit up. Question, when will there be a bug fix for chest rig and pocket cell freeze? Answer, they are working on it. And last question, when will there be a bug fix for inaudible shot sound? Also working on this is their answer as soon as it's done. Little side note about that. That fucking inaudible shot sound bug is deadly. I've been killed by people right next to me, not even three feet away. Because I couldn't fucking hear them. Shooting and shit like that. It's a killer. Good to know that they're working on it, though. Very good to know. And, um... Shoot, that, that that about does it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I appreciate your continued support and views and all the nice comments I get from everybody. Um, that's, that's about the end of this video. I really hope that it's given some people some enlightenment on what the fuck's going on in the game and the patch notes and questions in general. Um, I know it helped me. So um, thanks again, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks one more time for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Consider subscribing or just sticking around for more EFT content. And um, for those of you who want people to play with or just people to talk to and hang out, join my Discord. The link is in the description to the video.